So the film, the film is set in World War II, but it it talks about it refers to war generally. You know, not just World War Two, World War One. You know, it's it's war generally. It's how war changes lives, and not even those directly involved in it. And I think the sort of plight of the French people um, from my time spent over there is really something which fascinated me because their country, their country was overrun, and you know the Germans had completely occupied it by quite early on in the war. The difference in people's roles in the war, you know, from not just frontline fighting, but the domesticating of it and live, trying to live your everyday life within the setting of war and horror and evil and death, you know, being walking down the street, seeing death on your front doorstep is something which we as a society now, you know, living, living in London, I can't really uh, relate to. Richard Hall. I'm a 22 year old filmmaker from London and I'm here to talk to you today about my project The White Barn Owl. I wrote the script because it was something that I felt like I really wanted to tell. It's a, a period piece set in uh, World War II France in 1945 and it was something that was really quite dear to me in terms of the character and the struggle that she goes through. I've been working on it for a while now um, and I'm passionate enough about it that I want to make the most out of it. You know, I want to give myself the best chance of making this film properly. So me and the two amazing producers that I'm sure you'll meet soon, Jen and Jess, uh, are trying to make the project come to life as best as we can and this is why we need you guys. So I've been on the recce already to France to look at the location. It's a beautiful part of the world. It's very near Bergerac in the Dordogne region in France, middle south France. So myself, my producer Jess, uh, my cinematographer Tristan Chenet, and my art director uh, Anna Papa, we all went over there together and we had two days basically just looking at loads of houses, trying to find the most suitable place and the place that would do the film the most justice. So we found somewhere out there which was just absolutely perfect and I'm desperate to be able to use it. Part of what we need the money for is to be able to ensure that we can lock that house in and and just really make this film come to life because if the, if the location isn't right and if the two characters, Renee and Marie, if they're in somewhere which doesn't reflect actually the situation they'd be in, then the whole story wouldn't work. The Dordogne Film Commission have been amazing. It's It's been so helpful to have people that are really on board with what we're doing and helping us integrate into the community. You know, like I said, this is, this is a film which is really quite specifically about this part of France and this area and these people and what they went through. It wasn't it wasn't fighting on the you know on the front, you know, it wasn't bayonet warfare. It was, you know, these people war was very domesticated and these people kind of had struggles and battles in their own way. So it really important for us to be able to show that. It sounds silly but having that French contingent as part of the crew is going to be really helpful to be able to interact with the local people, to be able to not just be English, you know, typical Englishmen standing there. It's nice to be able to talk to people, interact with them, tell people why we're making this story, tell people why we're using their beautiful home and, and using the area they live in. I think that's really important. And there's this romanticism about the area and about the French resistance and all these kind of folklore stories that you hear and 
the people in the towns are so passionate about it and I think that was something which really enticed me into definitely filming up there and not filming back here and trying to cheat it you know I think trying to capture the essence of the area is really, really pivotal. My DOP, Tristan Chenet, is a lovely little Frenchman with a beard. Hi, Tristan. He works in Paris as well as London, so we're hoping that a good sort of third of the crew, camera and lighting especially, are gonna be from France. So it's really gonna be a mix of French and English. A huge part of the story for me is being able to sort of depict the beauty of the surroundings and of the environment with the brutality and the fatality of war. And I think that's definitely something which Renee and Marie as characters both really experience. There are a lot of war stories out there. There are a lot of war films out there. I think what I wanted to do that was slightly different was not only the way in which we film it and, and the kind of camera techniques and stuff, I think I wanted to really you know, domesticate war in a part of the world which I, I don't think has really been explained before or talked about before. And the idea of being in quite rural France where you're not, it's not a big city, but there aren't loads of houses around you, you're very much quite isolated and by yourself. And it's, if something comes your way, you can't just run and go and call for help. It's very much kind of dealing with it there and then how do you get around this situation and how do Rene and Marie do that without Marie's husband and, and, and Rene's dad, you know, that they're, they're left to fight this war by themselves and, and I think that's a really interesting context for a story. So thanks for listening to me guys. I'm really, really passionate about this project. I'm dying to make it. I hope it's something that you guys see is worth doing as well you know the, the setting the story the period it could be really really cool and I'd be yeah I'd be so so grateful if you guys contribute to anything just 10 that 10 pounds or 10 bucks or whatever you want to call it yen euro slotty slotty what's that Polish Polish yeah if so if you're Polish and you're watching that would be amazing it's about 5p. 5p. Wow. Yeah. Every little helps.